about 15 to 20 years in kitchens between hotels and restaurants. I knew I wanted to transition to fields in life. It's not quite as easy when you've been out of school for 20 years, but it's more motivation when you realize why you're doing it. We're uh, building four Saturn V Apollo rockets just for display purposes. I am absolutely loving this experience. It's an amazing for a transition. And, and then to see how the professional environment, how people act. We're working on low ice adhesion mitigation, how to prevent ice from accumulating on um, aircraft wings in flight to reduce like safety risks that can't be planned for. It's opened my eyes to what it feels like to work with people who do this for a living. They've committed their lives to these projects and they invite us into their labs and they, they want feedback from us because we contribute too and it's been really encouraging. My name is Chris Wool. I'm a Senior Research Materials Engineer in the Advanced Materials and Processing Branch and I am a Research Advisor for the STEM Takes Flight Program for Miranda and it really is fantastic. I love this program. They reach what I think is an underserved community in our educational programs. So it's great to be able to see people like the Virginia Space Grant Consortium partnering with NASA and VCCS to bring this STEM Takes Flight program together and bring these very, very capable, very intelligent students into these facilities. It's not the person that's been here the longest. All the ideas matter, all the thought matters, everybody matters here. So a leader is what we need at that time, at that place. And to be a good leader, you have to learn how to be a good teammate. When aircraft crashes happen, um, it mostly happens because the pilot loses control or doesn't know about upcoming hazardous conditions. So our work is to try to predict when the hazardous conditions are going to occur so the pilot knows and tries to stop them. Coming to work at NASA, my favorite part is being able to meet new people, find out where they're working, networking, because you never know when you're going to need those people. Just talking to them is a good way to start your day. My main project is the solar sail, um, you know, just basically making parts for the prototype. While I'm over in the water jet shop, I take parts that they've already cut out, clean up the edges, make sure there's no sharp sides. It's really cool to be able to be here and work on these projects for NASA. is basically synthesizing particles in this lab, um, which are epoxy particles, and we're going to coat them with a polymer in order to use them as recyclable feedstock in space to minimize casualties and risk in space instead of sending extra equipment to add to the weight load. They can be taken apart as well. So they can be taken apart in space, put back together to make smaller items. Actually, the process of making it and going through and seeing it come together, that's the part that I like. One of the things I like, I, I could just show you actually. I'm doing ultrasonic arrays to make new instruments for uh, quality service. I think this is going to impact my future because I could actually see myself as a future employee working with like astrophysics to see how the stars and everything are working because that's really my, my passion. If unmitigated contamination can lead to mission failure or degradation of instruments, so a lot of what I do is test spacecraft and space hardware samples for contamination both quantitatively and qualitatively using spectroscopy. A lot of the samples that I'm dealing with right now are coming off of projects that are going to be going into space within the next few years, going to the moon, going to Mars, going beyond that. My favorite part of my research is the fact that I'm pushing the edge of knowledge. I'm getting to discover a lot of things that not necessarily exist yet. We test uh, spaceflight hardware to make sure it operates within normal parameters given an electromagnetic environment. I absolutely love studying about these field probes over here. It's the most exciting thing. There's like six different kinds of them. They measure the 
the electromagnetic field in all three axes. We are using a scintillometer to take wind measurements, basically wake turbulence for use in aerial vehicles. I really want to work one day on the human mission to Mars, and so getting to work here at NASA Langley is like just an absolute dream. Um, I can't believe that, you know, started going back to school two years ago that I'm already at the place where they do that. I previously haven't been looking into careers in aerospace, but now that I've had this uh, exposure to talking to all these aerospace faculty and, and interns, and I'm now considering studying computer engineering with a focus on space systems because of that. I am an augmented reality and virtual reality intern for the Engineering Design Studio. One of the things that NASA is working towards is going to the moon around 2023 or 24, and they would be focusing on the Shackleton Crater. And a couple of the issues with the Shackleton Crater is that when you're on the crater, it's either too dark for you to see where you're going or it's too bright for you to see where you're going. So what my team and I are working on are, is we're working on a heads-up display so that the astronauts on space are able to navigate throughout this Shackleton Crater. Being just in the environment and being around NASA, I get to ask questions and play with different things, so I kind of get a better idea of what I do want to do when I finally graduate. The research we're focusing on is analyzing the prediction performance of airplane energy state predictors in order to help pilots increase their situational awareness of what's actually going on in the cockpit. This program has allowed me, a community college student, to be here as a guest student researcher at NASA. That's amazing. Not many people have this opportunity. To be here is absolutely my foot in the door to NASA, which is my ultimate career goal. I work with carbon fiber, basically. Uh, it's a pretty common composite. It's super lightweight. My project is specifically for solar sails. Um, so SunTix Flight has like, really given us the opportunity that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I know I wouldn't be here without um, SunTex Flight. My project is a high frequency EMI filtration system for solar powered system. I really enjoy being able to grasp the concepts. It starts to click. My project relates to phased array acoustic testing to be done either on the field or in a wind tunnel to help reduce aeroacoustic noise generated by wings and landing gears and such. I made a lot of friends up here. I've enjoyed every minute of working. I've learned a ton since I first started. So we call it data visualization. Basically, we take data in from Excel or people put it in manually or something and we kind of help visualize it or highlight certain parts. Having this job and knowing what it is actually like to code in the real world has really uh, opened my eyes. It's a very conductive environment in regards to learning new things and just improving as, as a whole. Uh, creating a database for various optical parameters that will be used in applications such as automobiles, submersibles, and aircraft. I've actually found that I actually do have a passion for propulsion and I, honestly that's probably what I'll go into in my future. I'm working with predicted energy states and kind of lets the pilot know before anything catastrophic happens. Being part of this research personally, like I am so speechless thinking that, that the work that I do specifically can, can help save people's lives in the future. With STEM Takes Flight, it definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for me to be able to continue uh, my experience here at NASA, my internship um, opportunities here at NASA. I just have fun showing up at NASA every day. How is there anything not fun or cool about that?